Welcome back, everyone. Here we are going to do another optimization problem. So let's uh, let's take a look at this problem. A farmer has two thousand four hundred feet of fencing and wants to fence off a rectangular field that borders a straight river. He needs no fencing along the river, so no fencing needed. What are the dimensions of the field that has the largest area? All right, so we're going to be optimizing the area. So this means we're going to optimize the area function. All right, so let's go ahead and draw a picture. So let's suppose this is our, uh, no, you can draw this in any direction you want. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangular field like this. And let's just say that we have the river right above. So the river is right here. So let's just say that is the river. And let's throw some fish in there. So here's a tiny fish flowing in the river. All right, so now it's not really a fish, but <laughs> let's assume that. So um, let's give it some dimension. So let's call this X, this X, and this Y. So that means the perimeter of this rectangular figure is going to be sum of all the sides. So we have x plus x, that's 2x and a y. And since we have 2,400 2, fencing, so p is equal to 2,400. So that is equal to 2x plus y, which means <clears throat> I can use this equation to um, modify the area formula since that's the one we're going to optimize. So the area of a rectangular field is x times y. So this is your objective equation. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in terms of only one variable. So if you go back to this equation right here, you can solve for one variable. So it looks like y is easier to solve for. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for y. y is going to be 2400 minus 2x. And then you simply plug this in here. So your objective equation is in terms of only one variable instead of two. So if we do that, we have the area is equal to x times y. y is replaced with 2400 minus 2x. So go ahead and distribute the x simplify before taking the derivative. This would give you 2400 minus x squared minus 2x squared. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a derivative. So if you take the derivative, you'll have a prime is equal to, um, so I'm missing an x here when I distributed the x. So that will give us 2400 minus 4x. Now we want to find critical numbers, so we're going to go ahead and set this equal to zero. Once we do that, we have x is equal to 2400 over 4, and that would give you about um, 600. All right, so that's the um, measurement for x. Now let's see if that's going to give us the maximum area. So we go back to our first derivative and see if, if the second derivative is concave down. So take the second derivative and you'll get negative 4, which is negative. So that means this is concave down. That means your function will have the maximum value at this critical number. So now let's go ahead and find the y value. So y value is going to be uh, solved by using this equation right here, which was our helping equation beginning of the problem. So we know y is equal to this much. So if I plug x for y, I have 2400 minus two times 600 which will give me 2,400 minus 1,200, and that would give you 1,200 for y. So these are the dimensions in feet that will optimize the area function. 